We just got a phone call about a baby squirrel that was found all the way on Miami Beach. It probably fell out of a tree. Other. So we're gonna go drive over there right now and we're gonna go save the squirrel. He's just fallen asleep in my hands. How adorable is this little guy? Look at this little guy. It just barely has its teeth coming in. What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode guys. Today, it's nighttime. It's, what day is it? It's Thursday night. And we just got a phone call of a little baby squirrel that someone found and mute the call. We just got a phone call about a baby squirrel that was found all the way on Miami Beach. It probably fell out of a tree. There's a lot of construction that goes around. I don't know how this baby squirrel got away from its mom, but it's a two week old baby squirrel. We just got a picture of it and it's absolutely adorable. So we're gonna go drive over there right now and we're gonna go save the squirrel. So this is the little baby squirrel right here. This is the picture that we were sent. You can see it still has its eyes closed, but it's nice and furry. So we're gonna go get that right now. And guys, we still need a home for this little puppy. Hannah, tell us about this puppy. Well, my friend got it from a shelter because she was about to be put down with about 100 other dogs. She's been spayed, but hasn't gotten all of her shots yet. We're still working on that. We're still working on the shots, but she's cute. So if you're in the South Florida area, you know, I had a million comments, but please go email me. I'll have my email pinned because I literally get a million comments. It's so hard to filter through it and talk back about people. So if you really are serious, you live in the South Florida area, you might be interested in her. Send me an email. Guys, so I unfortunately wasn't able to go with my sister to pick up the baby squirrel, but she just got here with it and it is in here. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you how cute this little guy is. So this is the little baby two and a half week squirrel. It is so tiny, so cute. His eyes are still not open. You can see it hasn't eaten in a couple of hours. Its stomach is all, it's not full and you can see its skin's all loose. And we gotta heat this guy up. He feels a little cool. And we're just gonna go feed him. What's up, buddy? Oh, we're gonna nurse this little guy back to health. Look at him, look at him right now, he's crawling. He made himself like a little burrow, so he's crawling in there, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at his little feet, little squirrel feet. Look at his little bushy tail, just starting to come in. Such a cute little guy. Hannah just got a water bottle right now, so we're just making a little nestle for it. The squirrel can get on top of it. So it's not gonna be too hot now. The heat's just gonna come through. We're gonna make sure it's not too, too hot. Guys, we decided to move her out of this little thing that the person gave us who found her just because she could easily crawl out. So we got this nice big bin. We have the nice warm water bottle for the little baby squirrel. You can already see she's gone right for it or he, I don't know what it is. It's going right for the water bottle to stay nice and warm. Guys, we are getting ready to bottle feed these squirrels and we have all of our supplies that we need. So with baby squirrels, you're gonna give them Esbalac, which is puppy milk replacer. So the ratio you wanna do is a one to two. So you're gonna do one scoop of the mix and then two things of the water. Now we have just one squirrel, so we only need to make one little batch. We make it fresh every time for the little squirrel. So we're just gonna turn that water on. We're gonna get one, Two. There we go. And we just gotta shake it up. We just wanna shake this up, get it nice and mixed real good. Then we're gonna put it in this little container, heat it up in the microwave, and then we'll be ready to go. Guys, we just got done mixing this up and we just weighed it on the little scale over there because we weigh how much food it needs, just depending on the weight of the squirrel. So we only need three milliliters, so we're just gonna put a little bit. This should be okay. So before we feed this little guy, we're actually going to weigh him. So he's 1.7 ounces. So depending on his weight, that'll determine how much food we give him. So we just wanna make sure, so we take an exact weight. We have the little log in here that'll tell us exactly how much food to feed this little guy. Now that we have the exact weight, how much food are we getting, Hannah? Three milliliters. Three milliliters. So we're gonna go to 0.3 and Can you tilt that for me, please? So I can, uh, thank you. I'm just gonna tilt it and you tell me, wait, why isn't it coming through? Apparently, I don't know how to uh, use this syringe. Because it's like not working. Why are you laughing at me? I, I don't know how to work this syringe. I've never used this syringe. I've bottle fed a couple things, but she's normally the one that does most of the bottle raising on the little things. So she's uh, she knows how to work. Oh, that was the cover, really? You didn't tell me that? That's not cool. Would you look at that? Hannah's great with this. This little guy is eating really good right now. So the nipple wasn't working, so she took it off, but you just gotta very slowly do this. Now, 
if any of you guys find any abandoned wildlife, please do not try and rehabilitate it if you do not know what you're if you do not know what you're doing, just because oftentimes people will kill animals like this, not because they're trying to do it on purpose, just because they don't know the proper care. So please surrender it to a local wildlife rehabber. Look at him. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute. His eyes should open in what, like five days? Something like that. Something like that. Five days, six days, who knows, next week. Look at him. And with these guys as well, they actually have to be rubbed after they eat. So we're going to show you that when he's done eating. So whenever anyone tries to actually rehab them themselves and they don't know what they're doing, one of the biggest things that kills these guys is aspirating them. So if you don't know how to properly feed them, you give them too much milk too fast, that milk will go in their lungs, their lungs get full of liquid and they pretty much drown. So we see that happen a lot. We actually just got this guy and it's actually a concern of ours because we don't know if they knew how to feed him. They said they were feeding him. So hopefully they knew what they were doing. Hopefully they didn't hurt him too bad, but he seems okay so far. So we're gonna stimulate this little guy right now. So at this age in the wild, the mother would actually, you know, stimulate their private parts just so they could go to the bathroom. They're so young right now that they actually can't. So you wanna lightly rub it like right to the side. So you don't wanna rub it too hard just because you can irritate it pretty easily. But you can see right now he's peeing just a little bit. So we just got done bottle feeding this little guy and we're gonna put him in his bin right now. And we're gonna put the bin in the garage. Hannah's a little camera shy, so she doesn't want to talk on camera. Can you say hi to everyone? Hi. Hi. So we're going to put this little guy in the bin right now where he's going to go have a nice sleep. Come on, little dude. There you go. Bye. Have a good night. We're going to take this to the garage now. So this is where this little guy is going to be, you know, living for the next few weeks until he opens his eyes. Once he becomes more active, we're going to move him to something a little bit bigger. But he is just going to hang out in here and go to sleep. Good morning, everyone. So we're gonna go check on the little baby squirrel right now. I'm hoping it made it through the night. You know, last time we fed it, it was about at 5 a.m. So it should have made it through the night. We're just gonna check on him right now. I don't know where this little guy is. He's somewhere in here. Let's lift this part up. No. Where is he? Oh my gosh, did he escape? There's no way. The warm water bottle. Wait. Ah, there he is. Hi, little baby. How you doing? Let's get this little guy out here right now. It's about feeding time right now in the morning. It's early. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Look how adorable this little thing is. Look at his little feet, his little face. His eyes are not open yet. You can see since he hasn't eaten in a couple hours, his stomach is a little bit small. So we're gonna go take this little dude inside now. We're gonna get him fed. Guys, we are getting ready to feed the little baby squirrel this morning and just look at it. It is absolutely adorable. We have its food right here. Its eyes are still closed, so it really doesn't know where it's walking. It's just kind of feeling around. Come here, little dude. So when you feed this guy, you never ever want to feed them upside down just because you could aspirate them. So if you guys don't know what aspirating is, I explained it a little bit before, but basically it's when the liquid goes into the lungs and they basically, you know, drown in their lungs. So. With this little guy, come here. You just want to hold him like this. You just want to get him started. Let me get it started. There we go. Come here, little dude. Come here. If you come right here, you can see. Just got to get it started. Look at this little guy. It just barely has its teeth coming in. Let me show you. Come on, little dude. Oh, I know. You don't want to eat, but you know, you have to. I know. I know. You don't know what I'm doing. This little thing right here is so adorable. Look at him, look at him biting a little bottle. Look at him with a little syringe. Look at him, so cute. Oh my gosh, this thing is adorable. Now in about a week or two, its eyes will open up. Its tail is gonna get much bushier and we're gonna raise this thing up back to health. You know, we've raised, I mean, how many squirrels? We've got to raise over 10 squirrels. 
guys we are back in the garage now we just got done feeding him stimulating him and look he's just fallen asleep in my hands how adorable is this little guy so cute i mean i just can't wait to watch him grow up so we're just gonna put him here i don't want to disturb him too much especially after he ate i want him to just get in there and rest and I just want to give all of you guys an update on the tiny little eggs that we found in the rhino iguana cage. They are still over here. We got to check them out right now. And let's see how they're looking. I haven't really messed with them too much, but they're staying a nice solid 85 degrees during the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And the eggs look exactly the same. They haven't started denting yet. We could candle them, but I'm not. So we're just gonna continue keeping an eye on them, waiting, wait for them to hatch. I don't know if they're fertile or not, but if they weren't fertile, I don't think they would still be here. I think they would have already started to mold, get all nasty and go bad. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're little gecko eggs. I don't know what they are, but we'll find out in a couple weeks. So I decided to step outside and do my rounds right now. You know, every morning, afternoon, and evening, I do a nice walk around of the whole property, make sure all the animals are looking nice, healthy, good. None of the tortoises are flipped over in the sun. Everybody was looking fantastic right now. But I just want to say thank you for all the support you guys have been showing me. I believe we broke 91,000 subscribers today, or we're just under it. Either way, absolutely incredible, guys. I love all of you guys. And I just wanted to let all of you know that last night, Luna, the rhino iguana, you know, the one we gave a bath, she dropped a beautiful clutch of 17 eggs. Now, one of them did go bad just because it actually got poked. So there's wire lined on the bottom of the cage and she laid the egg and there's a little sharp piece. So one of the eggs got punctured, totally out of my control. It sucks, but we got 16 beautiful eggs in the incubator. So in about 90 days, we're gonna have close to 30, 40 rhino iguana eggs. It is going to be incredible, guys. Thank you so much, love you.